Hello there, and welcome to Hilltop Does a Tutorial on how to build an airship in TechIt. Um, I'm just going to turn on Create It, but um, I know that uh, TechIt's been getting a bit less popular lately because of vaults, and I think vaults is awesome, and I do personally prefer it to TechIt, but, but there's one awesome thing you can build in TechIt but you can't build in vaults. First things first, you need support frames. Now, you, you, you'll probably know that these are to do with red power motors, which are totally awesome. But, uh, I'm slightly OCD, I have to pick them up. But anyway, anyway. You, you build with support frames. Okay? I'm just going to build something a bit small. Uh, okay. Uh, building this takes a while. I will be speeding things up. And I can speed things up, it's awesome. Look, let me show you. There we go. It's because I'm now doing video editing, I can speed stuff up and slow stuff down and cut bits out. And Anyway, and that might be big enough. I don't know. No, it's not going to be big enough. More speeding! Okay. Oh, speeding. Stop. Except for that bit. Okay, this probably isn't big enough, but we can start here. We can start here. Okay, now, what you're going to want to do is, you know about covers and panels. I will use gold covers, and, well, I don't know what I use for a panel. Uh, cobblestone panels. Okay, gold cover, cobblestone panel. Covers, you put them on. Now, if I put a block there, it won't connect to it. Okay, that's quite useful. Panels, it will connect. So you can make your ship look awesome with them. Cobblestone panels are ugly though. So I will use iron panels instead. Okay. So now, this is going to be the bottom of my airship. So this is on the outside. Because of that, I won't want it connecting to the ground if we decide to move down here. To do that, I need to cover it in panels. Panels stop. No, covers! I mean covers, sorry. Any type of cover will do. I'm just using gold because it looks pretty. Covers will stop things connecting, so... Uh, do I want it on the sides? Uh, no, no. I might want to build my airship off there. Speed up time! Okay, there we go. The bottom is covered in gold panels. Any panel will do, but I just like to use gold, because gold is pretty. Um, okay, now the top. What do I have? Goldstone oh, panels. Don't want that. Iron panels. Cover on the bottom, panel on the top. Now, you don't really have to cover the top with panels. You don't actually really have to cover the bottom with covers, but that just stops it connecting and picking up the ground. I mean, you could cover it with a block if you wanted instead, but really it's just a good idea to put something there so it won't pick stuff up off the ground. I'm not sure how glass panels look. They might, if you like the... This is a panel actually, but yeah, if you like the style of it, you can use glass. 
because then you can see the, the frames. But, what I'm going to do, I've got my iron panels, panels, I do need to keep checking, and I'm going to cover the top with it. And this means that I can put wires and stuff on, and they'll connect, and that will all be good, because I will need some wires. Okay, hello, there we go. I've done it. Uh, you'll notice I'm using glowstone to light it up. Torches do work, but they're a little bit buggy sometimes. Sometimes they will just pop off the wall. Doors are the same. You can use them, but they can just pop off when you try and, when you try and move it. They can. But glowstone will do. Glowstone's good. Okay, I've covered the top and iron panels now. As I said, this bit was optional, but you do need panels in some places to put wires on. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to empty my inventory of this, and what I want is whatever it's called, wireless, that's it, wireless transmitter, I think. Wireless remote, that's it. I want six of them. Because there are six directions we can go in. Forwards, backwards, that's two. Right, left, four, up, and down. But there's something in the way there. So, what I'm going to do, shift click. Frequency zero, that's fine. I'll just do this quickly. Okay, quick note, you cannot use frequency zero, it doesn't work, that's just what I was messing with, but it's fine, it's fine. Okay, there we go. I've got my six remotes for each of the directions. So I'll just save that into here. And now I can get rid of them. But now that's set up. Okay, so what I need, I need a, a frame motor. Uh, in fact, what I'll do first, I'll set up our power, because these need power. I will use solar panels. So, it really doesn't matter how you get power, but it's red power power. Not build craft power, not industrial craft power. Red power, which is solar panels or geothermal generators. I think that's it. But, yeah. And we also want a battery box. This is red power power. Battery box, not bat box. And we want blue blue alloy wire. Red power power. Okay, I'll just bring that all along. I think we will need to expand this at some point, but at the moment, this is fine. Now we need we need frame motors. That's what they're called. Not red power motors. I call them that, but they're actually frame motors. So first things first. Which way is forwards? I will say this way, away from the solar panels. That is forwards. So let me build forwards. So I put down my motor. I also need a screwdriver. 
A screwdriver or sonic screwdriver either will do. Shift click to change the side that the arrow is on. You want it on the top, then right click so it's pointing forwards. And you do want to connect it up to power. Just get my alloy wire back. <laughs> now I'll put another motor on top and do the same with that. So that should they should both be pointing forwards. Okay, good. Now I'm going to break that there. You don't need that. Um, you don't have to break it. It will work without. But now what I want to do is this. And you might think, that looks really weird. What's up with that? Well, all will become clear. Just trust me. I just can't remember how I get power to the <laughs> motor while it's there. What I'm going to do... I know what I can... No, that's what I do with the redstone. <laughs> uh, uh, look here. There, we can do this. And instead of bringing it along there, we can bring it up here. Ah, we need the covers. No, panels, 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 sorry. Not cover, panel. And now, that goes along there. And I'll also put one there. So this gets power uh, when it's day. And also, when this moves over to the right, it will still get power. And now, now that is set up. If we give this a, a redstone pulse, this one will push this motor over here. Because that's how they work. So this motor will now be here. And if we then give this motor a pulse, it will push this, including that motor. So we'll just get the whole thing moved one block to the right. But we need to give them the redstone pulse. So I'll get my red alloy wire. It doesn't... Uh, I'm just going to cover this in panels just quickly because it looks nice. There. Aesthetics are important to me. It's also because I do need to put a wire there. Yeah. Okay. So now you see that this will get a pulse. This will move over. Get the pulse. I'm going to test this with a lever. If I get a, a lever. I do need them to have power. Which is convenient. The sun's coming out. They will have power in a second. Okay, there's a bit of power in the battery box now. That's good. Progress. Not in the motors yet. Well, I'll put my lever down. No, other way, other way. I'm getting picky. Okay. Bit more power. Uh, that light's gone blue, don't know what that means. Ah, yes, there's power in them now. So, I pull the lever, that moves over, and then that will push the whole thing. Okay, good. Now, instead of using this lever, I am going to get a wireless receiver. Because, if you remember, I made those remotes earlier. It would be a shame not to use them. You can use a screwdriver to turn that around and just right click on it to get this and it's forwards there so double clicking that makes it forwards or frequency one so good that's good what I'm going to do instead of the remote is set up a control room later but that's not yet so now what we need to do is do exactly the same but for every other direction okay it is going to be big there are very small designs I have seen on the internet, but I don't like them because they're awkward. Yeah. Okay, so the easiest one to copy it over to will be backwards. So I'll just do that. Make sure it's got a little bit of space.
Okay, there we go. You can see that this looks a little bit different. Um, that's not got power yet. They, they, they've both got power. So, really, it's the same, but the other way around. If you notice, the frames and the motors, they are exactly mirrored. It's just that getting power to them is slightly different. So what you need to think about, this one needs to get a redstone signal when it's here. This one needs to get a redstone signal when it's here. This needs to get power when it's here, and this needs to get power when it's here. Preferably here as well, so it can charge. So, you can see that when this moves here, it will still get power. I've had to bring the wire down this time into the back of this, so that this one can get power. And here we have our redstone. And if I put down the lever to test it, there, the whole thing shifts over. Good. So we've now got forwards and backwards. We can go in two directions. Oh, there's stuff down here. Anyway, we want to go in more directions. So we need to make it a little bit bigger. This is one thing I always find when building airships, it's never big enough. Also, you can never have enough battery boxes for the night. That's another thing I find. Okay, there we go, I've extended it a bit. I've also added another battery box and wired it up, and that's getting power now. Ah, okay. So, whether that will be enough space for anything, I'm not sure yet. But, you also might notice I haven't put the gold panels on the bottom. That's because to build it, you don't need them. Though I will show you why you need them at the end of the video. Something to look forward to there. <laughs> Okay, so what I'm building now, I'm going to build uh, right, right, I'm building right. There. Okay, so they're both facing the right way. And I now need to build this up. Really? This is just the same as the others. So, I'll forward you through me building this as well. Okay, there we go. That is another direction added. When these are charged, I can test this. So this should move us that way. So if we're facing forwards, it is to the right. Except I'm not facing forwards. And it does. Good. Okay. And now left is exactly the same as that, but mirrored. So I'll skip you through building left. Okay, there we go, this one's done. 
if you heard that noise, ignore it. It's a calendar thing, talking about one of my Facebook friends' birthdays being tomorrow. Uh, happy birthday! You don't even know who you are, and you won't be watching this video. But anyway, let me test it. Boom. We move. There we go. Left works. Now you'll notice I have been setting all of these up these wireless receivers and I'm not using them therefore later I'll be using them later trust me I will now up and down you have seen the first four they're exactly the same but up and down we it doesn't quite work like that is it's similar it's similar okay so we're going to build up first so what this does <laughs> it is pretty similar. It just looks kind of different. So this will push this up and when it goes up there will be a thing for it to push. Just like the others. It's exactly the same thing. There. There we go. Up is done. <laughs> that, that is it. That is up. Not really. I haven't wired it in yet. Um, I think I need to extend this a bit. I do. Just one or two blocks. Okay, I've set up all of the stuff, I've extended it out a bit more, we've got a bit more space. So, what we need to do... This is a bit trickier, actually. Actually, no, no, it's not too much trickier, there. I think this will work. I don't, don't actually know. But, it's worth a try. So, I also need to give it power, even when it's up there. Now, this is a little trickier to set up, to be honest. So, now see that. That one is getting power when it's down. This one will not, though. Okay, actually it is, because it passes through that. Sorry. I forgot you could pass power through motors. But, moves up. But then it's not getting the redstone signal. Okay. Um, I might have to think about this for a little while. That's not working. That's not working. Okay, I'll speed up time for a little while while I sort this out, because I can't remember how to do it. Though I have had an idea of what I'm going to do. Okay. It works. We moved up. Now that might be hard to see, but I'm not standing on it now. And the thing moves up. Good. Now, it's annoying how they always go to pointing in towards you. But anyway, that is up. And down is pretty similar, but you have to have them in the air. I th will need to extend this a bit more. <laughs> One second. Okay, there we go, extend it a bit. But it's enough, it's enough. 
Now when down, what we're going to need is instead of going up, just one there. So when the thing moves down, it will push this. But we need to start them a bit higher. So this is how we raise them, because it still needs to be connected to a frame so that the other one can push it, otherwise the other mo this front motor won't push the back one. Oh, we're already facing the right way, good. So, this is down. Bit more awkward. Yeah. But, this is probably the most awkward one to do, but you can do them all, it's fine. Not a problem. So really the uh, weird method I used over there, I'm going to copy over here. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to make it do basically with the, the power. That's going to come up. It's going to power that one while that's up. And power this one while it's down, but it will also power this one while it's up by going through that one. Because it can do that, it can pass through motors. Motors behave like wires. That's a useful thing to remember. And with the redstone, just cover this in panels. You can't place wires and stuff on non paneled surfaces. That's just a point. You might have heard me furiously right clicking there, just to prove you couldn't. And if you don't believe me, you can try it. You can try it. And you can fail, and I can laugh at you failing. If you do try that and fail, please put it on YouTube for me to watch. Post it as a video response. Okay, so this should move us all down now. There we go. Down. If that was hard to see. Down. Okay, and there we go. We have a working airship. But now that's all a little ugly. I want to build a control room sticking out here. As far as I know, there is no limit to the size of airship that you can build. Though, bear in mind, at this size, I have a good computer. Getting any much bigger than this, it becomes a bit laggy. So it, it will get laggy if you make it too big. But also, for machinery, you can put tech machinery on here. But I have tested a bit. All machines work. Basically, any block will move, it will be fine. Pipes, however, are dodgy. Buildcraft pipes do not work properly with this. Red power pipes work fine. They're the pneumatic tubes. They will work fine, but any other pipes, just don't use them. Pneumatic tubes, good. Other pipes, bad. Okay, so this is going to be the worst looking control room ever. Basically, I need six levers. One, two... Three, oh. Ah, and I'll put the other three over here. And two, three. Okay, you'll notice I haven't covered it all in panels. I might use a different floor window, actually. But no, no. I'm not worrying about aesthetics. Okay, so I want a lever. Lever, lever. Lever. No, it should be... Yeah, it should be facing out. No? In. In. It should be facing in. Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm going crazy now. Okay. That's not working. That's not working. So instead... What I'm going to do, I'm going to bring them all over here. This is going to be an ugly, hard to use control room. Just, you can design a better one. Put it that way. When you're building your thing, just build a better control room than me. I don't need receivers now. I want transmitters. Where is it? Here, wireless transmitter. Now you could just wire it in, you could have a wire going from here over to wherever, but you could use wireless. It's a choice you have to make. 
I mean, you can wire it however you like, really. Okay, forwards, backwards, left, right. and down. Now let's test them all. So this is forwards, it should move us this way. There, it works. You do have to press the lever every time you want to move, but it also has to be held down for half a second. I know that, that's the time it takes for the motor to push a block. Half a second, it, the pulses need to be at least half a second long, or it won't work. If they're not, let me show you what happens with forwards. If I now go over to forwards, you get this. Which, and it works fine, next time you push it, it will work. But, that's just on, but you didn't move the ship, and that thing, but then it moves straight away next time. So, your choice. Okay, so this is left, I think? No, it's right. And this is left. What? No, this is left, and this is right. Sorry, I'm getting confused. Up. And down. They all work. Now, I said I will show you what happens where you didn't put panels on. Not panels, covers. Covers, sorry. In fact, I'm going to put some panels down, just to show that they don't really make much of a difference connecting to blocks. I don't need many, it's just to demonstrate the difference. So I'll speed this up for a second. Okay, there we go. So, here we have Covers. No, panels. Gold. No, these are covers. Gold covers, iron panels, and nothing. Just to compare the difference when we touch a block. Go down. Go down. So if you crashed into landscape, just go down a bit more. Down a bit more. This will happen whichever direction you crash in. You'll notice it now won't let me go down. This one got pushed down, but it can't push this however much I spam this lever, we will not go down. Now let's bring us back up. And if you see, it's taken the dirt with us. Covers? It hasn't. Panels it has, nothing it has. But we can now go up. Uh, so that is what happens when you don't put covers on. It also goes buggy on the mini-map! I can't... yeah, there's zoom. Buggy. Don't know why. But, there we go. You can build machines on here, you can do anything you want on here. Pipes are dodgy. Be careful with pipes. Only build craft pipes, though. Pneumatic tubes are fine. Also, torches and doors. Paintings, I think. They are a little bit dodgy as well. And also, if you're using solar panels, make sure you keep enough power for the night in battery boxes. And also, these for each direction, it's a single unit. So this here to here. You don't have to keep these together if you're thinking this looks big. So you could say, oh, I'll put uh, this backwards one. I'll put that all over here in another part of my airship. As long as they're connected by support frames, it doesn't matter where you put them. That's just a thing. You can, as far as I know, there isn't a limit to the size. You can build as big as you want. Also, panels, they're only important for wires and redstone. Otherwise, you don't need them. Oh, and I don't want that leaf there. Also, these things only work on panels. Receives and trans transmitters only work on panels. And if I load my remote, I can control it remotely as well. But I do have to tap twice or hold it. But if I keep holding it, it won't go again. Only once. So that's something useful to know. So we've picked up all this dirt now. Go up. 
takes your dirt with you. So you can use blocks instead of uh, covers. Because you'll notice it only picked up one layer. If I go down somewhere, it won't pick up the next layer. So, down. So this here, I'm going to crash into the ground slowly with this dirt. There, it's hit the ground. Can't go further. Can't go further. Now if I go up, it hasn't taken any more dirt. It only takes one layer. So if that layer's already on because you put it there, then that's fine. You're not going to pick up anything from the ground. So you can use a block or covers. I got it right that time. But not panels. Not panels. They don't work. So, thanks for watching. This is how you build a really ugly airship. This works. I could build TNT cannons on it. I could set something up with dispensers, not dispensers, I mean, oh, uh, deployers, that's it, they're the rest of thing. And pneumatic tubes to make, to automatic reloading TNT cannons, but uh, I'm sure you can find a video of them, and if not, uh, just, just ask me, I can make one if you want. So, thanks for watching, I've been Hillsoft, this is how you make an airship, and goodbye.